the rim. The counterplay. y'all with some more boxing news and updates you already know this your boy love with the hate one let's go ahead and talk about this real quick and you guys i'm making this video especially because the other day i made a video about caleb plant saying that canelo hits way harder than david benavidez and of course you have some people trying to basically debunk what i said in the video which was all facts and they can't be debunked but you know you always gonna have the stubborn people who is going to try to dispute anything i say and they just stubborn like i just said you know but it is what it is but i got word that canelo just laughed about david benavidez saying he was gonna knock him out because as you guys heard in another video a couple times he said it in a few videos and a few interviews, but the last time he said it was in Gillian Wallow's interview. He said he's going to stop Canelo Alvarez. And that's crazy when he can't even stop guys who's been stopped before. It's a fact. David Benavidez is not stopping guys who have been stopped before. But Canelo, who hasn't been stopped before, never been dropped before. Should I never even seen Canelo really hurt before but you're gonna be the first person to stop him get the hell up out of here and then you got a lot of clowns who say oh the last person Canelo knocked out was Caleb Plant yes but that was a real knockout not just no technical stoppage or a person quitting right like pitfall Benavidez another thing is too at least Canelo is dropping guys I'm not saying you have to knock out everybody that you face, Mr. Pitfall Benavidez, but at least drop them, hurt them, you know, have them on Queer Street for a second. You do none of that. And if you do it, it's against bums, or rarely. I mean, yes, you dropped Demetrius Andre. You did that. But, I mean, you being so much bigger than him. Okay, cool, you dropped them. But let me ask you guys this. Why do you think David Benavidez's power is so crazy, you guys? And a lot of you guys feel like he can stop Canelo too. How? I don't see how. I've seen all the excuses yesterday that I need to see. Oh, Caleb Plant was holding David Benavidez. You guys, I don't want to hear that shit. Because he was still hitting Caleb Plant with some flush punches. And then they want to say, oh, but chick, David Benavidez scale ratio. You guys, I don't want to hear that shit. Because when Deontay Wilder was knocking out all bums, what was you guys saying? Oh, that's not really telling us he got power. Because Deontay Wilder is knocking out bums. Let's see. Once he steps up in competition, then let's see what he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to have the same energy for Pitfall Benavidez. And then somebody tried to say, oh, but he be mainly punching from the arm. It's all arm punches, no leg punches. Now, that's bullshit. Because I've seen fighters stop guys. And I've seen fighters knock out guys with arm punches before in the past. They're just heavy-handed. If you are heavy-handed, you can stop a guy without putting all your might into it. That's how I know y'all don't know shit about boxing. When Triple G was fighting guys and stopping guys, he wasn't going in there and sitting on every punch. That motherfucker was down there knocking motherfuckers out with jabs. So, I don't want to hear that shit, y'all. Y'all making excuses for David Benavidez now. And like I said before, it don't have to just be a KO. It can be a TKO. You can hurt a man, drop a man. They want to say, well, the last time Canelo got a knockout against Caleb Platt. You guys, that wasn't too long ago. So that alone is a dumb point. But at least he's dropping guys. He's dropping Jaime McGee. He's dropping Jamel Charlo. Guys who've never been dropped before. Matter of fact, I think in all Canelo's recent fights, he dropped all his opponents. That's power. You don't have to knock a guy out. Drop him. Just put him on his ass. Listen, if David Benavidez would have dropped Caleb Plant and he would have dropped the last guy he fought, Alexander, I wouldn't have said nothing. 
because that shows power. You hitting the guy with everything in the kitchen sink and you don't even drop him? That shows me that your power isn't really what it's cracked up to be. Even when David Benavidez was fighting guys like Keyshawn Davis, what's his name? Kyron, I think. I think that's his name, Kyron. He was hitting him. I remember watching that fight live. It was around the COVID, y'all. He was hitting him with everything in the kitchen sink and wasn't dropping him. I think they waved it off. You guys, let me tell you guys this. This is not a diss to Pitfall Benavidez. I tell you guys all the time, he's a good fighter. I'm not hating on none of that. But it's two things that he lacks at to me. And you guys act like he beats Canelo. I just don't see it. Number one, he is flat-footed as fuck. It looks like he is literally fighting in quicksand, which is the reason I call him Pitfall Benavides. Number two, he don't got power like that. Like, Canelo faced dudes that hit way harder than David Benavides. Way harder. And didn't even make Canelo move. But David Benavides is going to stop him? Then they want to say, oh, but Canelo don't have the best stamina. That's why he's going to get stopped. Man, listen here. I really think you guys are overrating that bullshit with Canelo and that bad stamina shit. Because if you think about it, Canelo always wins the later rounds. Think about it. Didn't he KO Caleb Plant in the 10th or the 11th? Now, if he's so tired, why was he able to KO a guy that late? Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Or you could at least win those rounds that late? I remember the first and the second fight when Canelo fought Triple G. Especially in the first fight. You go watch that round back right now by yourself. The 12th round, I remember, man, Canelo need this round. And Canelo ended the fight strong in that 12th round. So I don't get what you guys are saying. But let's just say you guys have a point. I never see that at 168. I've seen Canelo tired before in the lateral parts of the fight. 175 or under 168, but not at 168. I don't see none of that shit you guys are talking about. And he knocked out Kovalev in the later parts of the fight as well, too. So if this man is so tired, how the fuck is he knocking guys out late? It's supposed to be the other way around, dummies. So at the end of the day, David Benavidez haven't faced nobody that hit as hard as Canelo. Going upstairs and downstairs. Counterpunching ability. And some extra shit. You guys, I'm not going to even make this a Canelo versus David Benavidez video. Because you guys know who I got. And I've talked about it so many times. In fact, I might just give you guys one more and break it down to a T. But that's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.